Hello guys, welcome to Freebirds Two and welcome to 75 Day Hard Charity Well Earning Channel. This is J72, and in this video, I will tell you how you can like build your own uh, large language model evaluation framework with the help of Hugging Face Evaluate Library. Okay, so this library is just a one-stop solution to build your own evaluation claim bug because this can do any kind of evaluation with multiple kind of matrices on di different kind of uh, problem statements from text classifications, question answering, chatbots, evaluations and any kind of stuff as well. Okay, so let's get started and I will show you that how this library work and how, how you can use it to its full potential. Okay, so if you are like seeing my screen here, you can see this is a evaluate library is here and you need to install this library by using this command evaluate and if you want to uh, use this uh, evaluate library on the rogues for you you need to install the rogues for uh, library as well okay and then if, if you just see this i just import this evaluate library here and then try to uh, load the exact match metric and that exact match metric will do the uh, e evaluation on my this reference text and my prediction test so if these two words are completely matching then it will give me 100% uh, accuracy else if there is a, like one word that is not in here let us just say I just uh, remove this word and then try to predict it now that says 0% because these two words are not even matching at all okay okay so now we need to uh, know about the what are the like, different types of uh, evaluations we used we use the metric type of evaluation we use the comparison type we use the measurement type evaluations as well so metric type uh, evaluation means a metric is used to evaluate the model's performance and usually involves a model prediction as, as well as a some ground truth that is same here we need the references we need the predictions as well for the metric type solutions but for the comparisons is used to compare two models this can be uh, done by comparing their predictions to the ground truth and computing their agreements so you need to have two kind of predictions here and that two predictions are compared with this one single reference so that's called comparison evaluation and then we have the measurement evaluation the data set is an important as the model trained on it with the measurement one can investigate a data set properties you can find all integrated measurements and evaluated measurements so these kind of measurements are like uh, how much uh, time it take to uh, generate the response and what is accuracy precision recall everything you can get in the measurement section as well okay so each metric comparison and the measurement is separate python modules but you can load it with the help of evaluate dot load and in that load you can mention any kind of metrics you want to use or any kind of type you want to use as well Okay, so if I just show you here, I load the accuracy metric here. And with the help of ac accuracy metric, I try to load the word length uh, metric here as well. And also the module type is measurement. So it tried to find the word length of all the words in the predictions as well as the ref uh, references as well. So if I use this uh, word length uh, uh, evaluation to find length of my this, so it shows that it is 2. Okay, and similarly so if i try to use this accuracy evaluation matrix to find this that how much accurate these two predictions are so it shows that they are 0.5 percent because the first number uh, is not matching at all second number is not matching at all but the third and fourth number is completely matching so that that means it is 50 percent matched and 50 percent does not match okay so if you have like uh, uh, model results and predictions you can calculate the accuracy uh, like this as well okay you can like uh, find your uh, references and find your predictions and it will give you the accuracy of your large language model as well that you know already know about the ground truths you already have the predictions as well okay and then we uh, talk about the multiple kind of uh, metrics results so we want so then we combine multiple kind of matrices here like the uh, accuracy f1 score precision recall and many more other kind of matrices as well you can like uh, uh, combine in that form and then try to compute so you can uh, just see here that it uh, completely calculates the accuracy f1 score precision and uh, recall as well okay so now now you can like also save this kind of uh, uh, result in the file based system as well as you see that i uh, compute the accuracy and I store this accuracy with this kind of 
hyper parameters on my this path so it's stored in the form of json that you have your own accuracy scores of your large language model on the base of the references and the base of the predictions as well okay so now now the question just comes that uh, if you want to evaluate it on the actual data set or actual large language model so here i just like uh, load the pipeline of the text classification model with the uh, uh, distilled imdb data set model is here and i also load the imdb data set as well and load the accuracy metrics so it load the complete all things okay then i try to evaluate and find all the scores that it has so it's just give me that it has accuracy of 0.93 percent and uh, how much time it takes to evaluate and how much time it take to ev evaluate the one sample per second as well and then along with the latency as well okay and then we can calculate the value of the matrix alone is not not enough to know if model performance is going to be better than the another one with bootstrapping evaluate components confidence interval then stand standard error as well which estimate how stable the score is so you need to add some kind of a more uh, metrics in that so that metrics we add the bootstrap that will give you the confidence intervals along with the standard error as well that how much your uh, prediction is far away from the actual ground truth that is given by the standard error here okay the evaluator expect a text and the label column of the data input if your data differs you can provide the columns with the these kind of two keywords as well the input column and the output column as well okay okay so now now let's just say you have the uh, predictions for many different different kind of model then you have the accuracy scores of very different different kind of models as well. you want to compare those kind of models on the basis of different matrices then you can use this evaluate visualization radar plot with the help of this radar plot it can compare multiple kind of machine large uh, language models on different different kind uh, kind of matrices as well and you can compare and choose which large language model will align to your specific task and which large language model is you can use in your further work as well okay okay so now now the question just comes that uh, you have trained your large language model and you want to choose what kind of metric uh, that uh, it can use at all so th there is no one size fit a metric is you need to uh, search for the different different kind of matrices as well you need to research on that and try to use which matrices is the best for you like uh, we have this kind of different uh, dimensions of large language model evaluations that is custom and uh, language features task understanding context awareness along with reasoning capabilities and these two are further get uh, uh, categorized as task independent task dependent ap appropriateness and along with the context awareness so in all these kind of uh, uh, criterias we will eva evaluate those kind of large language model so if we just see this we can uh, easily categorize our large language model into the three high level categories the first is generic matrices the like uh, accuracy precision recall Th these are the like very very generic matrices that we can use and then we have task specific matrices so we were given a task of the text classification machine translation so you can use a specific metrics so like rogue or blu score or perplexity or named entity recognition as well so these kind of matrices are task specific matrices okay and then we have data set specific matrices so which aim to measure model performance on specific benchmark so we can take an example of the glue benchmark that has a glue data set as well and on which you can uh, like uh, uh, evaluate your large language model on various kind of different different matrices as well so let's take an example of generic matrices so many of the matrices used in the machine learning community are quite generic only and can be applied to variety of tasks so they can be precision recall and uh, accuracy advanced for as well you can easily uh, use the evaluate library to load and try to compute it as well but when, when, when we talk about the task specific matrices you can uh, uh, talk about various kind of matrices that comes under it on the different different kind of tasks as well you know, there are like more basic kind of uh, uh, matrices are like you know, blu score rogue 
perplexity or, or cross entropy as well okay so these kind of matrices that you can use so you can find the right matrices for your own specific task if you can uh, just follow these steps the first step is looking at the task pages to see what metric can be used uh, evaluating your own large language model so you can use this kind of thing from here we we'll just show you here you can come here and see what kind of metric is best for you so you see text classification token classification question answering image classification text generation text to text generation summarization and these sort of like many kind of things are there and along with their evaluators are there so you can use these kind of evaluators for your own specific task okay okay then you can also check out the leaderboards on sites like uh, paper with quotes that what kind of metrics is the is the best performing metrics with certain kind of task or certain kind of data set as well and you can read about the metric cards as well for the relevant metrics and see which seems good for you because take an example that BLU metric or the squad metric card uh, they perform very good as well and if you talk about the blogs or like uh, research papers you can also see them because large language model evaluation metrics are keep on changing with time as well okay so if i just uh, uh, give you a simple example of a task specific metrics here the first task is machine translation task okay so if i just load this and try to compute it i just try to give it in some way that this, this is my reference and th this is my uh, predictions so in that the word the is missing here okay you see that in both the uh, sentences the word the is missing so when when you try to evaluate it you can get a plu score of 51% so that shows that it reflects the cumulative n gram precision of the generated translations to the reference translations where n typically ranges from 1 to 4 a score of approximately 51 indicates that 51.3% of n grams or like 4 grams in generated in generated translations match those in the reference translations so that means 51.5% exactly match with the references as well according to the bleu score okay then we check about the named entity recognition so we have these kind of uh, uh, here like our true labels our predicted labels and i try to find the uh, classification report out of it so i have the true labels i have the predicted labels as well as you see my true labels are n here that means a uh, noun or but the true label is o so that is the error here and when i try to build the classification report it gives me accuracy of 71% along with the uh, what kind of precision are that that i get for the n and o as well so that's how you can like do with the uh, named entity recognition task as well then we just talk about the simple text summarization for that you can use the ROUG rogue metric as well because rogue metric is mainly used for the uh, text summarization task so here is my uh, text and here is my reference and when i try to uh, calculate the rogues on different different levels let like rogue l rogue 1 and rogue 2 it gives me these kind of scores so i just explain that what all these four mean the the first score is rogue l so rogue l it means that the overlap of the longest common se sequence be between the generated text and the referent text so the score of 20% it means 20% of the content in the generated text matches with the reference text okay and similarly if you talk about the rogue one so rogue one means the overlap of unigrams that one one single single word the overlap of unigram between the generated text and the reference text so that means the 40% of the unigrams match with the referent text as well and rogue 2 it means that the overlap of the bigram that means the adjacent words that how uh, the adjacent words match with each other that means there are like no two words who are like matching with the reference text so that's why the rogue score is zero okay so that's how you can like uh, evaluate your text summarization large language model okay and then if we talk about the the data set specific matrices so you can take any kind of uh, data set as well you can take a glue or squad so glue is actually a collection of subset of on different different tasks so you first need to choose one of the corresponding natural language inference such as mnli 
which is described as a crowd source collection of sentence pairs with textual and tailment annotations they are already annotated as a let's so just say i take the squad data set here and try to uh, evaluate it on the base of references and the predictions so my text is 1976 and my predict prediction is all also the same so when i try to compute it it shows me the exact match of 100% as well okay so that's how you can like try to evaluate on the base of different different data sets as well okay okay and then uh, we have a kind of a evaluator uh, class so the evaluator class in the evaluate library it tries to allow you to evaluate the model data set and the matrix all at the same time in the form of a pipeline okay so if you just see here that i just had the data the task evaluator and the pipeline and i try to evaluate and it gives me all the kind of scores here that can be done by using the evaluator class in the evaluate library okay and then if you try to like build your own kind of a complete model evaluation framework and try to put it on a large language model you can do it by just coding that evaluation framework it has well if i just show you this uh, you can build your own evaluation framework like this as it just build that on task type data subset and what are the different different matrices you need and also the sub tasks as well on the basis of that you build your own kind of evaluation suite and you can load this suite with the help of evaluation suite dot load function and when you load it you can also run it on the different different large language models and it can uh, do uh, perform every kind of evaluation on all the kind of task on the basis of your the data that i use the glue data set here and at the end it will give you the result on all the kind of the samples that it takes that how those samples will perform with the help of uh, gpt2 large language model okay so that's how you, you can like completely use uh, this kind of hugging face evaluate library as well i hope hope you guys completely understand that how it completely works and in, in our uh, next video i will uh, go through the holistic evaluation of large language model framework and will tell you that how it completely works and in the meantime you can check my youtube videos and learn about prompt engineering data science and machine learning and also read my blogs and medium we'll meet in our next video thank you guys thank you so much